Time for, oh man, 13 minutes away. Mm. I literally care not about any other game, like relative to this game. How long has it been? How long has it been since we've seen something new? I can't, I, I, it's been too long. Their tweet confirms new gameplay. Guys, we're about to be fucking spoiled right now. Holy shit. We're about to be spoiled right now. Just imagine them saying it's ready to purchase and download after the stream. If I did a, if I did a 23 hour just for The Last of Us 2, who I'm, whom I'm a recent fan of the series of, whom I was recently put up on by someone, just imagine that's a, that's a 48, I'll die. I'll stream until I die. That's a 48 hour minimum. I got to turn my alerts down a little bit. Henny Waffles, that doesn't mean I don't love you, though. Thank you very much for the 22 months. Prime, welcome back. We need some loving in the chat. You don't believe in no fate. Uh, every day digging the grave. Uh, stepping up to what it stays. Uh, city of dreams. City of dreams. Hello and welcome to this, the very first episode of Night City Wire, a brand new series from us at CD Projekt Red where uh -huh. we'll be talking about all things Cyberpunk 2077. Media all over the world have been getting hands on with Cyberpunk 2077 and when this episode finishes you'll be able to go and check out exactly what they thought. So. Let's get started. People have played it, it already. To take a look at our brand new trailer. And after that, our lead quest designer, Pavel Sasko, will be joining us because I've got a feeling you're going to have a few questions after watching. Yes, this. yes. So, let's take a look. Oh my God, they're going to do the whole bit. They're going to get the guy on and ask him questions too. New trailer. I love this town. The city of endless opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, mano. Not just any other city. Legends are born here. Yo. The major leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? <laughs> There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cutting, baby. <laughs> goes without saying we do this on the hush ideally no bodies not a one sounds simple enough he's lit assholes is it gonna be dangerous don't you worry my boy we're bulletproof get your ass moving now what the fuck just happened in there can't stop digging night city fucking matrix happy now jackie yep i fucking hide at the bail oh my god we're so fucked I dig it. Dex, what the fuck? Game risk it, V. And you, who are you? Uh! Fuck. <laughs> November 19th. So the trailer contains footage from the game's prologue okay. only, but there was an awful lot in it. So, Pavel, why don't you try and help us unpack everything that we just That was saw. good. What you have just seen is only the prologue of the game. So that awesome stuff is only happening in the first few quests. What the trailer shows you is really our stage, the night city. You know, this gigantic city built of six completely unique districts surrounded by the seventh one that we call the Badlands. Okay, so the Badlands is this like dead, dried out space going around the whole night city. And as a player, you'll be able to traverse that space in your car or motorcycle. This is a Yo, space look at how wide open this by is. The nomads. nomads are living in a different families and they are traveling Yo. across that space in convoys made out of the cars and motorcycles. And as a player, you will be able to traverse and access different type of open world content that has been prepared specifically for you to that. Yo, this is an open awesome world game. Feel of the Badlands as an area. It's like Grand Theft Auto. In the trailer, we also saw like a completely metal creature. Now he didn't look like he was from the Maelstrom gang. This looked like something else. So please tell the people at home, who is this giant metal monster? <laughs> okay, so, wow. so that big dude that was 
Adam Smasher. He has been introduced in a pen and paper in Cyberpunk 2020 no, fuck with this guy. by our uh, senpai Mike Pond Smith. And uh, as a player, you are going to meet different kind of reprodux in the, in the game, craft your own relationship with them. Some of them I are going to say like you're going to need different types of reproduction for a, organs. For a story. Like, what? Through that, you will invest uh, eddies that you're gathering to turn your body into this tool that allows you to survive on the streets of Night City. Nice. Pavel, thank you so much for joining us. I know you'll be back later in the episode because you're going to be helping us to analyze the brain dance gameplay. The but what? Before that, we do have some news to share. What's that? There's Earlier more? In the year, we announced that if you pick up Cyberpunk 2077 mm -hmm. on Xbox One, you'll be able to play it on Xbox Series X when the console launches. Nice. And just in case you missed it, it will be the same for PlayStation players as well. There you go, if you console pick up guys, Cyberpunk if you were worried. If you 2077 on PlayStation 4, you'll also be able to play it on PlayStation 5 when the console launches. There you go, guys. And that's not all. There will be a free upgrade for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, but we'll have more details on that soon. You guys are covered. Don't feel you can Before buy it on your consoles. You guys are good. At the Brain Dance gameplay and welcome back our developers for a chat. There is just one more thing we want to announce. Something that we've been working on in secret for a while. What? What we do you... are very excited to announce our partnership with Studio Trigger Who? and Netflix to bring Who? you Cyberpunk Edge Runners, a standalone anime set in the Cyberpunk universe. What? We've been working on. They're for making a some fucking anime. Now. Edge Runners is due to launch in 2022, but for some more information, let's Wait, go to what? the team in Tokyo. These motherfuckers just casually announced an anime coming out in 2022. It... Hi, my name is Saya Elder. I am the Japan-based producer for Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Oh, what I do basically on this project is that I am a fixer, to put it in the words of the Cyberpunk universe. We are, are a company. We are a bunch of nerds, and wherever there are nerds, there's going to be anime fans. So it was always a dream for us to make anime. I do like to think that it's going to be I love a how you can just record Shibuya for newcomers and to come and check Cyberpunk game and also the Cyberpunk genre as a whole. That's what's up. Right yeah, now we're in Nakano, which is one of the biggest anime meccas of the world. Uh, I'm going to take you to Studio Trigger right now because we have the wonderful opportunity to talk to the dream team that will be bringing you this anime. Okay. え、鳥川の代表取締役の大塚です。監督の今井 I wasn't expecting that. Check it out. They already have like some concept art there. Yo. Now it is time to show you some gameplay of Brain Dance. This is a feature that you'll experience when you play Cyberpunk 2077. Who am I? Brain Dance is essentially a recording of somebody else's experience. It allows you to relive their sense of sight, smell, touch, and even hearing all thanks to a special device. So let's take a look. What is Brain Dance? What is Brain Dance? Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Okay. Got it, got it. What the and fuck? Remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. So, the youngsters, we're just Everybody, gonna rob a convenience store? Okay. Well, I see you kissing the flooring. Money. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Well, yeah. Hey. I, 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 now. Before I blow your fucking head off! There you go. Run the jewels. Run the jewels. With your four-sided Rubik's Cube. Ah! What the fuck? Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. What the fuck are they talking about? I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. All seems yours. Wait, what? Full cam control and analysis mode. What? So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't. Wow, you can kind of go you back go and in, look at everything you've cash, done. Get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks. And kind of break it down and play it back. Got it, got it. So Brain Dance is just a crude name for this app that allows you to essentially just go back and watch your memories like like you're editing a movie or something. Red 
not your memories other people's memories too it's like cyberpunk 2077 witcher senses i guess kind of reminds me of detroit a little bit except you know you're actually going to play the game nothing against detroit to see the sources of the recorded sensory signals switch to the audio layer in the editor go ahead and try that now oh yeah okay good now you should see several sound signatures in the store choose one and hone in on it damn this is thorough this game is so involved six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers any thoughts unbelievable seriously like what's happening right next to me yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. Nice. They pick up everything, all the elements. You're gonna be like a, you're gonna be like a damn cyber editor, detective. Makes them pop. Oh, and you can upgrade this vision to get other signals. <laughs> okay, nice. so heat and apart Scanning from sound. Peeps too. See that? They shot him, and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. We're gonna figure out who this guy is See now. The blinking thing over the entrance. Surveillance cam. Oh, wow. Now we should get a good look. Enhance. 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 His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. His own yeah. homie got him. Impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. So brain dance is a pretty big part of the cyberpunk universe. It's not just something used for adult films. There is Wait, an awful what? lot to it. And there's two sides I'd really like you guys to help me explore. First is the lore, so how this actually fits into the universe. And then there's the gameplay side, so how players will be interacting with it. Brain Dance was invented way back in the early 2000s at UC Santa Cruz. This guy's voice doesn't match. I thought he was going to sound like a Viking. A person's experiences and then playing them back for someone else as so that they could relive them as though it was happening to them. Now, in our game, we deal a lot with black brain dances or XBDs as we call them. Mm -hmm. And there are different types of those. But the one that you saw in the trailer just there was a flatliner. Now, that's where the person recording it actually dies during the recording. As a player, you will be able to run the brain dance in the editor mode and see different clues that have been registered on the peripheral of given actor. Oh, wow. Now, as a player, you can slide on the timeline of the recording back and forth, trying to this uncover game is different clues. going to teach us how to and be detectives are actually telling a story in the game. For a time of so, year where player, we're not out yet. As a player, you will run different investigations that will lead you to uh, different mysteries and you will uncover like 200 years from now we're all going to be qualified as a detectives if we're still so, alive as after Pavel this game was saying we use brain dance as a storytelling tool it's not a collectible it's not something where you're going to go in and you're going to play it and you're going to be like i've seen this before what we use brain dance for is to give you a keyhole into the life of the residents of night city mm -hmm. and we can explore things like childhood trauma religion various philosophical ideas okay. in a way that you might not otherwise experience in a story about a mercenary on the tough streets. What is it about cyberpunk that you guys are really excited for? Uh, Patrick, why don't you start? Uh, releasing so it, I would imagine. One of the things that I'm most excited about say. in this game is the characters and the way they interact with the world. And so when we come up with a character, we start with their function. What is this person? Calculus. What do they do in the story? But we don't stop there. We go back and we figure out what was their childhood like? What was their upbringing like? What kind of obstacles did they face in this harsh reality and did they overcome them and how did they overcome them or did they not overcome them and why? And we come up with that for all of our characters. Now you look at someone like Victor Vector and you're going to see... Vector? Say, Victor Vector? Is there a Timmy Tenser? Excited about our and a Sammy Scaler like as well? That dude is flexing the with the AirPods right now. It's made. unbelievable. Pavel, I know you mentioned story and, and quests and writing quests. And Those AirPods are getting me hot. When I was last in the studio, I had a look and I saw a notebook on your desk. And I would love for you to show everybody this notebook. So I wrote, started this notebook actually when we were really starting Cyberpunk. Is that notes? At the very beginning, I wrote the, like a first note and it says pretty much something around, along the lines of a, that we were starting with a prototype. And then, you know, I kept on uh, basically noting things that we've been working on um, for like next year. Did he have to cross all that out because of... When our concept artists actually approached me... What's happening? And they said that they want to take a look at my notebook. I was like, what for actually? And they, they, they took some pictures um, and they told me, uh, yeah, well, you know, because we are looking for a reference material for a, a notes of a psychopath. Is that killer. a language? <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, well, uh, you may um, find maybe some of my notes um, in the game. 
Okay. That Seven. looked like a notebook of Grand Theft Auto uh, cheat codes, didn't it? Up, down, left, right, triangle, square, circle, X. One more thing we'd like to oh, one, talk one, about. Oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one. Earlier in this episode, I mentioned that media have been getting hands-on with the opening of Cyberpunk 2077, and they should be posting their impressions right about now. Okay, so... And finally, on behalf of everybody at CD Projekt Red, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us for this the very first episode of Night City No, Wire. thank you. But don't worry, we'll be back with episode two in just a few weeks. So, we shall see you soon. Okay. Okay, I mean, we got an anime. We got a trailer, some gameplay, and an anime. I mean, what more do you want? What more do you want? I mean, honestly, I'm pretty good with that.